how to stop Google asking for a password change on every sign-in attempt. So if you've just signed into your Google account and then Google immediately asks you to change your password, then the reason for the password change is as follows. If there's suspicious activity in your Google account or if Google detected that your password has been stolen, they may ask you to change your password. By changing your password, you help make sure that only you can use your account. So this is straight from Google's account help. And what they basically state is that you need to change your password to make sure that you only have access to your Google account. Now I'll put a link to this Google Help Center page in the video description below. It's the following link, www.colon slash slash support.google.com slash accounts slash answer slash 98564. If you want a brief synopsis as to why Google is constantly asking you to change your password every time you sign in. Now, if you're tired of changing your password every single time, I can reassure you and let you know that there is a way to stop Google from constantly asking you to change your password. So I'm just going to left click on my other tab here and we'll be taken to the home page of my Google account. To get to the home page of your Google account, simply navigate to the following URL. I'll also put this in the video description below. So it's www.myaccount.google.com. Once you're here, you should see something very similar to what I currently see. And what we'll be paying particularly attention to is the left-hand side here. And you're going to be selecting security, which is the fourth option down here on the left-hand side. So simply left-click on security here. Once you've done that, you should be in security, settings and recommendations to help keep your account secure. Now simply scroll down until you see signing into Google. As you can see, here signing into Google here. On the left here, it says password. And on the right hand side here, it says last changed. And then the date you last changed your password. Most likely it's going to be today for you because you're watching this video. Underneath password here, it says use your phone to sign in. Whether that's on or off is dependent on you. However, that's not necessary for this video. We're going to be paying particular attention to two-step verification. Now, if you want Google to stop asking you for a password change every time Time you log into your Google account, you're going to need to set up two-step verification. As you can see currently on my Google account, it's currently set to off and yours most likely will also be set to off. We're going to need to change that. So all you need to do is navigate to this arrow here on the right hand side and left click on it to be taken to two-step verification setup. Once you're here, scroll a little bit down and then you should see protect your account with two-step verification. Each time you sign into your Google account, you'll need your password and a verification code. So if you're not sure what exactly is two-step verification, you can find out more about it here. But I think this sentence here is pretty self-explanatory. So here we have a bit more details about two-step verification. It says add an extra layer of security, enter your password and a unique verification code that's sent to your phone. Keep bad guys out. Even if someone gets your password, it won't be enough to sign into your Google account. So it's quite an excellent security measure that I would recommend that you take for your Google account anyway, even if Google wasn't asking you to change your password every single time you sign in. Now to get started, all you need to do is left click on get started. Now I'm not going to bother setting up two-step verification for this video. However, it's very simple to follow. All you need to do is follow the on-screen instructions and you'll be good to go. Google then won't be asking you to change your password every single time you sign in. All right, guys, that pretty much concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. Why is it so